Okay, so it's officially spring. Well, actually it's not yet. Is it yet? So I thought, let's go to Target. I haven't really looked at any of their home decor lately. I'm sure the spring stuff is out because they're always ahead. And let's just go see what they've got. I need to get some stuff for a coffee table, for that little table behind my sofa. I'm sure there'll be other things that call my name. I'm sure we need something for the stone cottage. Let's just go see what we got and we'll go home and play around with it. And maybe it'll inspire you guys because most stuff at Target is at every Target. So you guys can find it at your Target. I will link a lot of the things that I find here online below in the description. And we're just going to have some fun today. Okay, let's go. Wow, this place is huge. I've never seen this big of a Target before in my life. It's like an entire Starbucks. I've never been to this Target. We have a lot of Targets here in Tulsa and I don't usually come to this one, but man, this is like a Whole Foods in the middle of Target. I think some good faux plants here. Usually the faux stems are actually not very good. These are not bad. I'm gonna get a few of these. See how these just look really plasticky? These are, you don't want. These are more like fabric-y, you know? And they just, from a distance, they look more real. These are an instant obvious, I'm fake. This one, if you get really close, you can tell it's fake because it's not like, you know, the nicest silk flower or leaf, but it's a pretty good fake from far away. Very cute. I need this. I might need two of these. Oh, I think I need this one too. Welcome home. How adorable. Like a little girl's room. Really great basket size though for a lot of blankets. And these big baskets usually are like hundreds, hundred dollars. Like I have a basket in my house from World Market that's like over a hundred dollars. This is 60 bucks, which is pretty good. You could probably fit like three blankets in here. And toys. And toys. I'm gonna get that. I feel like right now at Target, everything is neutral. They don't have a lot of color. And then I just found these. This is like the only color I see. And I actually really like this color. Technically I'm a spring. And this is my color. Um, I'm trying to think about the artwork in my house, if there's blue in it, because I would love to add this color to my sofa for spring. But I'm gonna verify on my art print to make sure it's gonna go with it. Okay, so here's the challenge. Where do I find more of these? Because I want more than two. Let's go on a hunt and find them. are the perfect patterned pillows to include with my solids. Let's look. See? So springy. Now, there's a chance that this creamy color could clash with my sofa, so we're gonna bring it home and find out. Tyler's gonna kill me that I'm buying more pillows, but I have a problem. I love all of these art prints that Target has right now. I think they have great art prints, especially if you're going for this like old world cottage core vibe that I am really into right now. Um, they're fairly affordable. I mean, it's obviously different for everybody, but for artwork of this size, it's pretty affordable at Target. But if you guys want to find ways to get even more affordable art, go and watch the gallery wall video that I just put out. I did all thrifted frames and the most beautiful art prints. They're like even better than these art prints. These are pretty great, but they're so good. And it was so affordable and I have all different sizes. So go and watch that video because it's gonna blow your mind and it'll save you a lot of money. Now here's the thing with buying vases. You wanna get different colors, shades, and different sizes. You don't wanna buy all the same height or all the same short squatty ones. 
Having a mixture allows for you to do a nice little trio and we'll mix up the vibe you're going for. And again, I'm gonna say it all day. You buy and you return, but you won't know till you get it home. Now let me tell you guys a story. A couple of years ago, when I lived in Hermosa Beach, when Tyler and I were early married, it was my first time to decorate our apartment by myself without my mom. And I really wanted to make our home beautiful. And I remember going to Target, standing in the aisle and looking at the shelves and being like, okay, do I want that thing or do I want that thing? I don't know, okay, maybe I'll do this one and this one, but what if that's too big? Oh, I didn't measure it. What's gonna look good? I don't know. And I literally would just walk down the aisles for 30, 40 minutes, unable to make a decision, intimidated because I was like, gosh, I'm spending a lot of money here. And then I would leave with nothing. I would literally go home with nothing. And I have a hunch that a lot of you guys go through that same thing. It still happens to me sometimes. I get these flare ups of like, is that gonna look good? I don't know. Now, let me just give you a piece of advice. If you buy something, first of all, if you leave with nothing, you'll never know if it was gonna look good or not. The only way you're gonna know is by getting it in your home, playing around with it and seeing what looks good, what fits. So while there are tips to like take measurements, take pictures, have a color palette, all those things are great to help you succeed when you go shopping. I also just recommend buying the things that your first instinct is like, oh, I really love that. Buy it and bring it home because you can always, always return it. In fact, a lot of the time I bring it home, I didn't like it and I returned it or I bought it for a bookcase and it was too tall or too too wide and it, the, the bookcase was too shallow. Um, I just think a lot of the time where we get insecure and overwhelmed and then we just get paralyzed. And I just wanna encourage you guys, just buy the dang vase, buy 10 vases, bring them home, see what works, return nine of them. You know, like you're, you don't keep them all. You just play like shop at your house and bring Target home to you and tell your husband, don't worry, I'm returning most of it. And then make sure you do. Cause you know, a lot of my stuff ended up in my garage and I still have it, <laughs> but we don't tell Tyler. One thing I always recommend when you guys go shopping for your home, one, it really helps when you have a color palette kind of determined um, because then you can do variations of that throughout the year. So most of the time I have neutral pillows. In the fall time, I bring in more warmer colors like caramely colors. In the springtime in my living room, I wanna lean into a little bit brighter colors. So I have a picture here of my living room art. I'm trying to decide which color pillows could I bring in. So I really love this color. There's some blue like hidden in the trees and stuff, but it might stand out like a sore thumb. I'm still gonna buy them because I wanna put it, I think putting it in the space really helps you determine if it's good or not. But I will say this color is like the green that's in the trees might actually go better. And then even this color over here is probably my best bet because it has all these different variations of green. Um, and I think it'll feel very springy in that space without making it feel too feminine, like doing this color. That would look really good, but that's a little bit too salmon-y for my taste. And I got three boys at home, so I don't wanna make it like too feminine. So I said, remember to get like a couple of the same solid. Oh my gosh, is he not the cutest thing in the whole world? Get a couple of solid, and then when you find your patterns that you like, get one of each pattern, maybe two, depending on the type of pattern. But these are gonna go great with those. See, this is why Tyler says I have a problem. I've reached my limit. I need to just leave. at the back of my car. We're good. Okay, so now we are back at the house. I'm gonna show you all the things I got here, show you where I'm gonna put them. I'm basically gonna swap out the stuff I had for winter, fall, that's still kind of lingering, and swap in the new. Let's do it. 
So I really wanted to add kind of some additional height and texture to this space. So I thought that the lamp that I found with that woven shade thought it'd be perfect in this room. I love the way it turned out and has a great sprinkle of like a spring texture to the space. So remember these? I loved this color in the store and I still love the color, but it's just not as good as this. It's not bad, but it's a little bit too bright for my art that I have going on right here. So scratching that idea, leaning into this idea. See how we've got this color green right here, some of the green kind of in the trees. This is gonna be a good color. So we're gonna take our old, you can tell I really like this pillow from Target. <laughs> it is the most comfortable pillow to lay on. If you're wanting to find a pillow that looks really cute and casual, but is also equally comfortable to like snuggle up, this thing is very, very comfortable. And they have them in a lot of colors, as you can see. So taking that color out, I'm gonna use this sage green color. I'm gonna take the tags off in a second, but I just wanna show you, we've got a big, we've got one of our prints, remember? Now I'm gonna still keep one of my Kinwoven pillows. Some of you guys have these that you bought when we launched these a couple of years ago. I love this color because I think it's warm and springy. And then we have this pattern print. So I'm doing three, a bigger, a smaller, and a smaller, okay? They're not all the same size. They're different sizes, they're different textures. I could even, we don't, oh, you can't reach it. This was that one I wanted more of that they didn't have, but this also would have been cute like that. See how it feels different? It's similar color, but the trim is a little bit different and it's still a fun print. Now I could even do this, this, that looks really nice with that. But for now, we're gonna do this. Now, when you get your pillows, you wanna take all the tags off. I will do that after, but I'm on 30 minutes till I gotta go, so we're just gonna do this quickly and show you. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No. Now, these pillows I love, but they're really more of a fall texture. They're cozy, they're warm. They just look like a cozy, like you wanna sit with some tea on that pillow. It's not the spring vibe I'm going for. Now, we've got this green guy, love him. We only have two of these, so I'm gonna split this one to go on this corner, so they're not too matchy-matchy, which means this guy that we only had one of is the winner. We got that, or this. You gotta step back and look at it. And I think I like this one. This is Scout's area, so this part of the sofa is very dirty. Do, I do apologize. I got another green. So see, we have our similarities. Going through all the sofas and rip them off. My mom would probably want me to cut them off, but I live life on the edge. Now, if your dog sits on this, Smush it back up. Give it a little beating and you're good to go. Okay, let's see. Do we wanna do this? See, now I kinda don't like this one. I think I like that one. And then, I may use my cozy guy that I just said I didn't want. I'm gonna eat my words here. Bring my cozy guy back. There we go. That's kind of nice. Here we go. One thing when doing pillows, this is very important. Karate chop. Your pillows. Now, our Kinwoven pillows karate chop great because they have down feathers in them. When they're not down, they don't karate chop as well, but they are comfortable. Oh, this is a workout. All right, let's add some stuff behind the sofa, shall we? Whenever we're doing this, we wanna have 
different textures, different heights. So we have a tall, we've got a medium, and we have a small. Now this guy I love, he's like leathered, plastery, matte finish, but he's gonna be too big for this trio. So we're gonna stick with these. Now this one is shorter, it's a different color, it's shinier, smooth, this is more matte, it has a ridge, it's taller. So we have some dimension here. All right, so I have my little greens here. Now this adds some nice height to it, some fresh greenery vibes, and then this we'll put on the other side. Remember how much I love this guy? Now I'm just gonna repurpose him for the coffee table, which is great. And I'll have a place to put all my coasters so Sawyer can't throw them. This is what we bought. I actually really love this vase because it has, it's like two-toned. This I've already had, I don't even know, I think I got this at, I don't even know, but I had it. So sorry, you can't find this online. This I like, but the reason I don't love it as is, is because it's not tall enough. It feels like this is too tall. This needs to be like about here. So get yourself some books. I happen to have Baby Wise and the Gospels. And we're gonna lift it just a tad like that. This doesn't look quite as good. These are on an angle. So this felt like it needed to also be on an angle. And that feels better. And Scout is dozing away in her perch. What do you think about spring? The good news is you still go with the spring color palette, so you get to stay. This is a kid's apron for spring. How cute. Sawyer and I love baking together and cooking together. And I just thought this was adorable. So I will link this below if any of you guys have kids that love to cook and you need an apron. It's so cute. Do you like the spring colors? If you do, can you sit up? Sit, 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 sit up. Okay, if you like the spring colors, stay exactly how you are. Good girl. Okay, you guys, I hope that this was a fun little field trip. I love going shopping with you guys. It is always so much fun. I have lots to return behind you. Pillows I didn't use, art that I didn't use. I used all my vases, surprisingly. But, you know, that's just the thing. You wanna go and overbuy because you know that you'll be taking a lot of it back, but at least I had options. I could play around once I got here with the stuff that I found. Again, this is all stuff that's new for spring at Target, so I will link everything below. This is not sponsored by Target, but it should be. But I'll make sure that you guys can have access to all that stuff if you're interested. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and leave me a comment. Let me know if you love these Shop With Me videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful kickoff to spring. And I'll see you next week. Love you all. Bye-bye.